7 News Alert, police chasing this stolen taxi cab as we speak. Ralph Rayburn over the scene in Skyforce HD. Ralph, what is up? We, we've seen some crazy driving in South Florida, but this guy in the taxi cab right now is going to be up at the top of the list. He is northbound on the turnpike. We just passed Okeechobee Road. Sweetwater police spotted this vehicle. It was stolen. It was reported stolen earlier today. They started to follow the vehicle, and uh, we came. To the, it came northbound on the turnpike at a very, very high rate of speed. Just a short time ago, it actually spun out in the middle of the roadway here northbound. Uh, was struck by a police car that tried to uh, do a tip drill to, 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 uh, to uh, dis disable it, and it was able to survive that tip drill and is now uh, pers uh, continuing to go northbound on the turnpike here. We're doing 113 miles an hour as we follow this vehicle as it zips past traffic. He's been using the breakdown lanes on the inside lane of the turnpike as he continues to go northbound. We're, we're coming up on the curb of the turnpike, and I'm just going to uh, spot my GPS here for a second, and I'm seeing that we're just passing 107th Avenue, and we're starting to make that big sweeping turn that comes east on the turnpike as he goes into the breakdown lane on the right-hand side. We have Sweetwater Police uh, undercover officers and people, uh, folks from the Doral Police Department here that have joined in this chase. It was on the turnpike. The uh, driver of the, of the cab here got off it and was on 58th Street, went east to 114th Avenue north, uh, on uh, to 74th Street and then back uh, westbound got onto the turnpike and then continued northbound when this is over we will have video for you of the uh, spin out the, uh, uh, on the on the roadway here on the turnpike going northbound as he continues now northbound I'm going to look at back at the GPS one more time here and tell you that we're coming up to the uh, intersection uh, north of 100, they're just missing a vehicle, wow, uh, 183rd Street, the intersection of 183rd, I-75, and the turnpike. We're going to see, uh, let's see, we'll bring the camera back out here and just show you where he is here. We can go, he can take 75 northbound. It looks like he might end, might end up on 75 northbound, and uh, that's what he's going to do here. He's on the flyover here. We are advising the Miramar Police Department and the Pines Police Department that this uh, vehicle, they've given the description out of the driver as he continues to swerve in and out of traffic here going northbound here. He's going to have run into uh, slower moving traffic here. Very dangerous situation, obviously. And again, we want to advise everybody that we are showing this live. And what you see here is what you see. So if, you're, if, you're, if this is something that uh, you don't think is appropriate, then it might be time to, to seek an alternate uh, an alternate viewing choice for the next few minutes. But in the meantime, the vehicle now in the six lanes that go, uh, five or six lanes that go northbound, police officers, as we said earlier, are in pursuit of this yellow taxi cab. It was reported stolen out of uh, the area of Sweetwater earlier today. It was spotted by Sweetwater police. They follow the vehicle. They've been waiting for the uh, uh, police department's aviation unit to get up launching from either Opalaka and now they've actually have, we're hearing that they notified the Broward Sheriff's Office also so they may have an aviation unit that may be responding up here but there are a number of police officers okay we're getting off at Miramar Parkway I'm being told by my pilot Joe Mancino and he's going to be going around a lot of slower vehicles well now he's going to be traffic, running into so some traffic is, in Miramar yeah, Parkway isn't and, he Ralph he's going to have to be forced to slow down a yeah, little bit very very dangerous you're right you're and, correct Bill. and yeah, we've I'm seen sorry, our I've fair got, share of, of, cra of not crashing of chases but this guy is really going fast it's been a while since we've seen someone go this this fast yeah he's flying and it's look it looks like he's not going to stop until he either gets uh, involved in an accident here as he turns to go eastbound on Miramar Parkway here east of the turnpike now and we're going to be going to be running into much slower traffic here because there's a heavy buildup we have uh, uh, stoplights up here let's see what happens with the stoplight well right now he's catching the catching the green light on this at this intersection right here once you get up there you've he's got a commercial area and, 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 and residential underneath this Joe yeah he's going into a residential neighborhood here well uh, maybe he's heading to someone's house he, he's got a, a destination in mind it appears if he got off I mean because that could have been a bad move with all that traffic right it, it, well, once you get uh, it he, he's in he's going into the area of gated communities off 149th Street just south of Miramar Parkway and, and as you see uh, let's see where he's going to end And that's here. That, that area that you're talking about, cul-de-sacs and tract housing and all those, 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 uh, yeah. those, those. It's a dead end. Or yeah. My pilot's telling me that up ahead, it's, it's not, well, it's not a dead end, but there's not going to be a, he's not going to have too many options here. If he makes a right turn, he, I'm being told it's his, it'll be his only way out of here. If otherwise, he's going to be in a bad way. As you see him cross the double line there, this guy is obviously, uh. And he's still flying through this residential neighborhood. 
Yeah, yeah, you're correct about that. And again, so to set the stage for folks at home, just to bring them up to date who tuned in, this is now Miramar. He jumped off a 75 on the Miramar Parkway and now heading into one of these residential communities there in, in the right. heart of Miramar. Going, right, now you can see he's going through a gated community. Blowing right, right past there, the, the guard, guard gate. Right, trying, to, trying to get Whoa, him to stop. Broke took the, out gate, the, took the gate out. The gate. Right, now he's coming back out. Well, he obviously so figured out he didn't have many options on that there. Same road. Now, if the, police are, if the police have been able to keep up with him and know where he is, and if, if anybody back there at the station wants to clue them in that we're directly overhead, that he's coming, got police coming straight at him right now. And there's a oh, police I'm, officer I'm right coming? there. You see him, he's going to be backing, backing up. And now another I, police car there. He just went by it going the other direction. So he is northbound, Belkis, Belkis and Craig. And, oh, and so he's you're going saying that oh, oh, the officers are, are coming in his direction. They're coming at him and he's still just right. blowing right past them. But he's heading right. back so toward he the parkway. Right, he did hit that cul-de-sac we were talking about, made a U-turn. We got three police cars up ahead here that he's going to have some difficulty with. Let's see what they do here. How are we on fuel, Joe? Okay. He either knows exactly where he's going and he's trying to uh, you know, he knows these roads and is trying to get away from police, I, 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 or if not... Or didn't and figured, I gotta turn around. Or just figured, I better make a quick U-turn here because I'm stuck at a, at a guard gate here. And that guard is still like, huh? All right, Miramar <laughs> Parkway, right, the guard's got a story to tell right there. Uh, now he's turning back onto Miramar Parkway, eastbound from that 140, roughly 149th Street uh, address that we gave you there. Continuing eastbound, uh, and what? just... I don't know. So, I, I'm, he's <laughs> so we're back on Miramar now, right, Ralph? Yeah, we are. We're on Miramar Parkway. So he's on Miramar the... Parkway. Okay. But he's just squeezing through cars and just being downright absolutely reckless. I'm surprised yeah. we haven't seen uh, more crashes. Well, thank, thank well, goodness for that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's got a, he's got a couple of fender benders that are going to be reported in relationship to this uh, to this pursuit here. Again, police officers keeping their distance. There, there, there's nobody. Uh, I'm looking out my window right now, and I would say that uh, at least a good uh, a good uh, quarter of a mile back, that's where they are. are Joe, is any, are there any aviation units up yet? No, we haven't heard anything from the uh, police from the aviation units, helicopters that would normally be up here. But he's continuing uh, eastbound. Uh, let's see. We're coming up to Flamingo, Flamingo Road. So that's to give you a landmark to let you know where he where he's headed. Uh, again, I'm going to give you our speed right now is 88 miles an hour. Obviously, much faster than the speed limit down there on Miramar Parkway. As we come to this intersection, let's see what happens here. As he tries to go, you, you can see a, a vehicle, that little Volkswagen Beetle, moving out of the way as he comes up to the intersection here. Let me zoom out just enough to show you the. There's it. Oh boy. Okay. So now we're coming right, up to Flamingo. Oh boy. Oh yeah, boy. Right. This is where it gets scary. There, uh, just cuts right people there, off. Almost, and almost hits the truck there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is where it gets scary when he gets okay. sort of right. blocked into traffic and then he just makes these crazy turns and crazy moves and people around right. him are just left scratching their heads wondering yeah. what is going on. Okay, oh, now, now he's pulling he's off the slowing, side of the road. He's slowing down. He's crossed the roadway now. This is just north he's of the He's going opposite traffic. Flamingo Road. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a shopping center. He's also being he's being followed now by this vehicle. I don't know if this vehicle's involved, if it's an undercover officer or what it is. We've got highway patrol coming up in here behind him. There's a highway patrol okay. officer's vehicle. All right, let's see what happens. And he's happens slowing here. down. It yeah. appears right, that he's you got slowing FHP down. There. This is going to be over here pretty quick. The guy's oh getting ready goodness, to bail. Oh my goodness, he's jumping okay. and running. There he goes. All right. On the run, being chased by and the police officer. It's the officer park here. and ditch. All right. Well, let's see so how this fast ended. he goes and how far. Well, uh, he's done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's he's pretty much done. If you've got half a brain I'm there, guy, just stop right there. Okay, maybe he doesn't have the half he's a brain. He's trying yeah. to, yeah. Okay. And okay. there we go. And here we go, and it's done. So it looks like we've got the highway patrol officers who helped collar this guy, not off of Flamingo Road, where he ditched the vehicle. He made a run for it on foot. Highway patrol, another agency involved in unmarked like unit. perhaps an undercover Might unit there. Might have been BSO. There. Who helped join in to collar this guy? At one point, we had Sweetwater, Doral, Miramar, several um, departments chasing him during this chase. It's been going on now for what? Maybe 20? We've had it on for about we've, 15 minutes? We've had it on for a good yeah. 15 minutes yeah. or so. Yeah. Listen, you guys, I'm, we're, we're going to we're gonna contact our desk and let them know exactly where this bailout is. It's behind a shopping center here right off of Flamingo Road, just to the south. It's in the back. You know, let me gonna bring the camera back out. We have about two and a half minutes before we absolutely have to get fuel. You can see all the police officers here, uh, agencies from Dade and Broward County, Sweetwater. We had Doral units here, undercover officers. We actually had police officers on their way home from work and on their way to work that 
joined in this pursuit, uh, took an FHP officer about a good uh, 50 yard dash along with the assistance of this unmarked vehicle here to take the subject in custody. He was wanted, I guess he's wanted for uh, driving a stolen vehicle and fleeing the police. So that's what we've got for you here in Sky Force Ooh. HD. I'm sorry, but we do have to get out of we here. We understand. Ralph Rayburn, uh, great hustle as always, bringing us the only pictures in South Florida of this chase as it unfolded on the turnpike on uh, 75, uh, oh, ultimately go just off of Flamingo go. Road there. And Miramar um, Parkway. Yeah, and they finally got this guy. And, and we're th in a parking lot, and again, Doral, uh, Sweetwater Police, Miami-Dade units, Broward County units, uh, FHP, and an unmarked vehicle all uh, pitching in to help bring uh, this man uh, uh, out of the car under control under arrest because he was really okay. uh, a hazard on the roadways for quite a while. Thank thank you Ralph for uh, keeping us uh, abreast on the situation and of course we will definitely okay, Joe, have the ahead. very latest on this on 7 News at 6:30. For now that's going to do it for us at 6. I'm Balkis Nuray. I'm Craig Stevens. Stay tuned.